Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello, this is Michael Hayden, elementary school teacher with Kids Academy. And today I'd like to talk to you about some strategies for learning multiplication that you can use both in the classroom and at home. Some kids are really excited about learning multiplication. They have an older brother or sister who's been successful with it, or they're just always eager to learn the next big thing in mathematics. Other students, however, have developed a fear of math. They don't like learning the next big thing, and they know that it's going to be a struggle. Today's strategies are going to help make learning multiplication fun and easy. They're also easy to pull off and don't cost a thing, or just a little bit, in or outside of the classroom. Before we get started with some of these really fun and easy strategies, make sure you give your students an opportunity to try on their own in something we call a flipped classroom. Present an easy problem such as 4 times 3 and see if they can solve it on their own. What strategies do they come up with? You'll be really surprised with some of the interesting things that kids can just pull out of their hat. After that, start to review the concept of multiplication. There's no better ways to do that than looking at an array. An array shows that multiplication is not only repeated addition, but it also shows that it's made up of equal groups and rows. Let's get started looking at a really colorful and edible array to start off our fun and easy multiplication learning strategies. So let's talk about that problem we just introduced four times three. You can tell students that we're going to use some fun manipulatives, M&Ms, to help us solve this problem. In order to solve this problem, we'll build an array with four rows with three in each row. So let's start building our four rows. Well, there is our four rows. We're building them down so that way we can add two to each row to complete each row. As you add M&Ms to each row, you can explain to students that multiplication is just like repeated addition. If you look at these first two rows, you could add three plus three to find the total of these M&Ms. You could also multiply two times three to figure out the total of these M&Ms. But we need four rows of three, or four times three. So let's keep adding. There's our third row of three, and our fourth row of three. To find out the total of these M&Ms, we can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Or you can skip count, which is faster and eventually easier. Three, six, nine, 12. Make sure to have students write down this problem and solution in their notebooks. This helps with memorization and recall later on. Once you've mastered multiplication using arrays and other edible manipulatives, you can start to practice multiplying using skip counting. Skip counting is an easy and fast way to answer multiplication questions. I have some multiplication songs that are fun and easy to do both at home and in the classroom with a simple stomp stomp clap from either the teacher, the parent, or a student who wants to lead their friends or classmates in this exercise, we can begin to memorize all of our multiplication facts. Here's an example of a multiplication song, the threes. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. The most important part of this is that you sing loud and proud and that you use your fingers to help you multiply. Let's talk about our example four times three. If you wanted to know what four times three was and you wanted to count using your songs, well, we have a song for the fours, or if you wanted to use our song for the threes and flip this, you can count three times four. Three, six, nine, 12. We just did three times four and landed on 12 because we skip counted by three we did it four times. Students should know that you can flip the commutative property, multiplication facts, and get the same product. Now, once you've mastered all your skip counting songs, see some of our other videos, you can begin to insert and apply these multiplication facts to word problems. After students have mastered word problems and begun to recognize some of the key words in answering multiplication word problems, we can then begin to learn about division. To learn about division, it's best to start with some simple scenarios and head back to our edible manipulatives. For division, start with a visual and edible strategy again. Present a fun scenario. Ask three students to share these M&Ms equally. Have those three students come up with a strategy. 
Do they share one M&M at a time until there's no M&Ms left? Do they share two at a time until there's no M&Ms left? How many M&Ms does each student get? What's a division problem that could best represent what just happened in this scenario? Had first one teaching division helped students equate sharing with division? Ask students to write a word problem or an equation to represent what just happened. They started with 12 M&Ms. They divided the M&Ms into three groups or amongst three people, and each person received four M&Ms in the end. You can repeat the scenario with different number of M&Ms or different number of people, as long as your students get to eat the M&Ms in the end and are learning about division. Once you've mastered division using fun sharing scenarios and edible manipulatives, you can move to using skip counting to help you solve your division problems. Skip counting to solve division problems is a faster, more efficient way to solve these problems. You can use the same skip counting songs as we learned in the multiplication part of the video. Let me show you an example. Let's use our 12 divided by 3 example that we looked at while using our M&Ms. You can skip count from the lower number of 3 to the higher number of 12. The number of times it takes you to land on 12 is your answer. Let me show you. 3, 6, 9, 12. It just took us 4 times to land on 12. Therefore, 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Well, I hope you enjoyed some of these fun and edible multiplication and division strategies. Multiplication shouldn't be stressful and hard at home or in the classroom. It should be fun and edible. Make sure you're singing loud and proud and counting using your fingers. Skip counting is the key to unlocking multiplication and division. I hope you enjoyed watching these videos, and if you want to learn more about multiplication or division or some other great math strategies, watch some of our other video blogs. You can also watch some of our multiplication songs videos on the blog page as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.